Find lock. Finish zero zero zero. Finish recording. Speed. <coughs> okay, it's the twenty fifth of March today, and it's nearly twelve p.m. I slept in for ages. I went for a walk yesterday to the shops and on Tuesday I'm going to go back to the shops, I'm going to go to Aldi and I'm going to check out, um, I'm going to check out if Envision it's called, I should probably remember to put a link to Envision as well, it's a pretty good app. I actually think it's better than seeing AI even though it it tends to read a lot more scrambled so when you're reading stuff you have to like decipher what it's trying to tell you because it will read it'll tend to read instructions out of order and you know you're trying to find out if something's shampoo or conditioner and it's going blah, 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 blah. And it's like, just tell me if it's shampoo or conditioner. So, eventually I just open Seeing AI because then it tends to read not very well, but it will give me specific words like conditioner, shampoo. And it's like, okay, that's all I need to know. I don't need to know how much it costs. I don't need to know what brand it is. I already know it's a Pantene bottle. Why are you telling me what I already know? Just tell me, is it shampoo or conditioner? So, yeah, there's pros and cons to both apps. So, I just keep them because it's like whatever. One has advantages over the other at different times. So, just use both of them. And yeah, I'm going to see how well it reads LD products and probably buy something from there. Um, they've also got a ton of fresh veggies too for cheap, so... I'm probably going to get some potatoes and pumpkin and um, make something like mild minced curry with mashed vegetables. Now that will be so yum. <laughs> because you just cook the minced curry as you do and you add, well, it'll have a recipe on there, but I don't follow recipes. I make up my own recipes. And if I don't like it, then next time I'll change it until I do like it. I don't follow recipes. You know, when I'm cooking stir-fry and stuff. <coughs> I'll add the packet. And if it says add two cups of water, I'll add two cups of veggie stock or beef stock instead. You know, I don't follow all of the instructions exactly. I just don't do it. I don't see a reason to do it, so I don't. Um, I even enjoy experimenting with cooking as well. You know, you can make jam drops with any flavoured jam you want, but you could also make the same mixture and turn it into a completely different biscuit if you wanted to. Um, I, I love experimenting with cooking. Um... <sighs> That reminds me, I need to get some more unbleached organic plain flour because I do a lot of cooking and I like using it for so many different things, you know. You can use it to roll chicken thighs into before you put it into the slow cooker or, you know, you sort of fry it on both sides for... 10 minutes on either side to like fry it or if you just want to sear it you'll do 5 minutes on one side 5 minutes on the other just to sear it and then you put that into the to the um, slow cooker for like 
four or five hours on low or on the high setting it's just four hours on high which is pretty good but if you wanted to go out somewhere you would have to turn it to low for six hours because you don't ever want chicken to be undercooked you know don't ever eat partly cooked chicken no way not only is it disgusting it'll make you sick anyway so don't eat it when it's half cooked always cook it properly um so then i'll be doing something in the slow cooker because in winter i absolutely love using the slow cooker like you can do chicken thighs with any sauce you like um it'll cook up wonderfully you can use cooking marinade as well you can't go wrong with the slow cooker and then at the very end you mix in one teaspoon of flour to half a cup of water and then you just tip that in and it will thicken it up a bit more you know it'll just thicken it a little bit more and if you dissolve any kind of powder into liquid first before tipping it into hot ingredients it'll stop it going lumpy because you mix that cold solution of corn flour or regular flour really it's up to you (sighs) whatever texture you want in your food you know create that it's your cooking make it how you want it just has to taste yummy when you eat it so if you add a cold solution of dissolved ingredients into hot ingredients and then mix it thoroughly it stops lumps from forming you know and it mixes in very evenly which is what you want and uh, that way I can use that for sandwiches or like for example I can add two containers of chicken thigh with mashed vegetables into the freezer and then there'll be two chicken thighs left over I'll just put them into a separate container refrigerate them and have them on bread later you can have them with however you want on bread or mixed with veggies or what you know a side of vegetables or rice or pasta and then you just um have the rest of it on sandwiches that it's so versatile chicken breast is absolutely no good in the slow cooker it dries out you need to use chicken thigh you can get a massive heap of chicken thigh for like $13 from Coles, Woolworths a huge tray of chicken thighs and if they have to be cut up I just go to the butcher and get him to cut up a heap of chicken thigh because they are so much softer and more moist than a chicken breast they come out so much better in food generally thighs are always the best and then you use chicken breast in stir fry when you've got to add a lot of sauce to it and the chicken breast won't even dry out anyway because of the sauce whereas when you use chicken thigh it's for the tenderness of the meat that you use it you know it's not so bad putting chicken breast in stir fry but when you want tender cuts of chicken that melt in your mouth Um, and you're not mixing it with veggies or you're having it separately from your mashed veggies but it's on the same serving plate then you literally use chicken thigh and I believe you can do crumbed chicken thigh too you thin out the thigh by flattening it then you roll it in eggs and milk and breadcrumbs and flour I think you do milk flour to make it all sticky then eggs you know then breadcrumbs to get the crumbs to stick to it and then you um oh my bed is so comfortable oh yeah and then you cook them you just you cook them I think the secret to cooking crumb 
chicken is make sure it cooks very well for the crumbs to get stuck on the chicken as it cooks and then you flip the chicken over I can do the most nicest convection oven chicken ever and you turn it to combination you put the microwave on combination oven and microwave and you do it for about 35 minutes around you know that time and it cooks the most nicest crumbed chicken ever I mean I'm even going to do chicken schnitzel in the microwave because it will just cook so nicely um I'd basically cook it for 15 minutes and then turn it over and cook it for 15 minutes again oh it'll cook so nicely mm. it cooks better than the fry pan it cooks way better than the bloody frying pan like yeah you can do good fry pan chicken schnitzels too but it's just easier to do it in the microwave and I use a casserole dish like the Pyrex dishes are so good um, and I've got a loaf tin in my cupboard somewhere I'm going to make a slice and you can do it using the microwave using the convection oven setting on about 180 degrees I believe and oh, honestly it'll cook so nicely it'll cook wonderfully it will cook absolutely wonderfully um yeah my my microwave oven is absolutely the best and when it gets dirty i use dish soap and i clean it all out because i mean you got to eat that food after you've cooked it in there like you don't want it to be dirty it has to be quite sterile actually because you know if food isn't cooked in a sterile environment it makes you really sick because the toxins that bacteria builds up you can kill the germs but you can't kill the toxins so the poison that it produces is the waste product of the bacteria and it will absolutely stuff up your body like you can't eat that waste product you got to have a sterile environment for your food and if it's the same with water where water is so toxic that you can't even boil it to drink it then why would you boil and eat toxic food for you know for god's sake water that's poisonous has to be filtered and purified before you even boil it to drink it so you've got to purify as well as filter toxic water and then you have to boil it to ensure all bacteria that still survives is dead so that not only do you not get sick from the poison you know the waste products of the germs you're not going to get sick from the germs causing an infection either so you've got infection and toxins to deal with now it's the same with food if food goes toxic you can't eat it you just can't eat it anymore it's no good for you so like if the microwave isn't sterile it gets poisoned as well with whatever toxins so you not only have poison from germs you also get infected by those germs like it's no good for you <coughs> so um that's just how it goes like you just can't avoid stuff like that so you gotta like clean it very well in order to have a clean space to put your food in to work with it like i always clean my appliances i can't handle having a dirty microwave if i've used it twice then that's great but after a week it really needs a good clean your body can tolerate so much punishment before it won't accept it anymore and then you end up in the intensive care unit and they've got different areas of the hospital too like they've got emergency short stay and long stay they've got the intensive care short stay you're in there overnight and some places in the intensive care like if you need to be in there for several days 
they take you from the overnight section into the long stay so they check you into intensive care determine if you'll be in for more than overnight and then they transfer you to a more permanent setting where you're just living there until you recover whereas if they think ah no you'll be out in the morning you're just a bit cooked today they keep you in the less permanent area where people are coming and going hour by hour and you know you're out when you're ready but in the more permanent section of intensive care you're pretty much stuck in there until the doctor decides you're okay to to leave otherwise you're stuck and people go in there every day but they're not coming and moving hour by hour rolling the beds in and out of the place they're you're in there and then every hour someone will be getting discharged because they're no longer needed they can go into a another part of the ward and then someone else moves in for several days whereas in the short stay no one really stays in there for more than 12 hours 24 at the max so everyone is rolling in and rolling out rolling in rolling out like it's busy so there is no fucking way that I want to deal with that kind of shit again. When I get sick once, I'm not going to deal with it twice because, oh my God, like I'm just not going to put up with it. Going in and out of the hospital, sometimes in the psych unit, sometimes in the short stay emergency, sometimes in the short stay intensive care because it's just get you stabilised determine if this stomach bug's going to last a few days or if it's fucked you up for longer than a week then you might not be going anywhere but if it's just a quick nasty bit of business that they've had to deal with because you like having a heart attack then yeah they let you go the next day I mean there's nothing they can do for you after they've stabilized you they can't do anything they can't give you drugs to fight off a stomach bug unless it's an antibiotic specific to a type of infection but otherwise they can't do anything then keeping you in isn't going to fix it either you just get sick from something else in there they can't keep you in they can only keep you in if there's something that you can't deal with on your own and once they've got you so that you can manage yourself they've got to get rid of you you know when you're up and moving and take yourself to the toilet and you can drink and feed yourself or you're not eating because you're sick but you insist on wanting custard and jelly and green tea for the next three hours they can just send you home to eat all that sort of stuff at home like they don't need you to be there Whereas if you're not eating and not doing anything normal, then they'll keep you in till you can feed yourself. Like, it's common sense, really. Otherwise, they're just keeping too many people in the hospital unnecessarily and making everyone else sick. And they don't like doing that. They like to get you in and then get rid of you when you're well enough to leave. It's how the system works and it's across all fields, whether it's mental health, physical health, everywhere they do the same thing. They get rid of you when they know you can manage yourself. And if you collapse again the next day, they'll happily take you back in. And then they'll wait until you think you're okay and then you, you're gone, you're out. So I don't know why people have this misconception that once you're in, you're stuck in for a week because that's not how the hospital really works. It's not how modern technology is and I wouldn't want to be in there for a week anyway. I always try and get out of there within 24 hours, three days if I'm really stuck. Three days at the most and then I'm ready to go. Uh, otherwise... You know, so you've got to keep a really clean environment with the microwave, cooking appliances, saucepans, everything. You know, you just need to. Speech on. 
Mike mic trick mic lock. Finish recording. 1955. Finish recording. Button. Mic lock. Button. Mic lock. Mic mic trick mic lock. Finish 20. 20. 20. Finish recording. Okay, I'm back. Now let's see if Bot, I can get so, seeing eye. Page one of two. To work. Just page two of C my opt. Seeing AI. Seeing high. Seeing AI. Menu. Button. I hope this Channel. is Channel. working. Adjustable. Document. Short text. Short text. I wanna check out all my conditioners. That's conditioner. I'm gonna put puff paint on that one. Where is the puff paint? So that'll be conditioner. I wanna make sure it is. Peel alive. Active. Conditioner. Aloe vera. Yes. For all hair types. And I'm gonna put hang on. I'm gonna put some puff paint on that so then I can take the rubber band off and then I have to buy some new rubber bands because you know they've oh god where's the thing oh there it is I'm glad I've got this massive seven litre container because, um, yeah, it, uh, it works very well. Now, I take the lid off. That's what it looks like. Okay, now, that down. Now that, I'm just going to get some of it out. Can I get a dot on there? Okay, a bit of a line, a bit of a dot tie, which is something, and then I just have to leave it. So put that back on, and look for some more conditioner. I love puff paint because um, I don't make it neat and fancy. I just make it. The best way I know. Now let's see. You gonna read it or not? Oh, it's not Recognize reading. English button. Channel short text adjustable. Read. The comment. Now Look at it. Read. Tangeva. No, I need to use Envision because this isn't working. Home. Menu, Avino. Quick help, recognizing English. But I saw her. No, I don't. Page C A my octus. Invades. Well worse. Envision. Because it'll read better. Mag read preferences. Instant text. Button. Your Envision trial has expired. Head back button. Your Envision get your minus thirty percent off now. Button. After first year, twenty nine dollars and ninety nine cents per year. Button. Ready to say goodbye. We agree. Envision. Doc. Phone. Page two. Seeing AI. So my trial has expired. Avino. Oh. Seeing AI. Menu. Button. Channel. 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 Adjustable. This is bullshit. Oh, I'm not paying for it. Coconut and jojoba. I'm not paying for that. Okay, I'm gonna put it there. I'm not paying for something like that. It likes to go. Eight. Eight five zero zero zip two rinse. Save. Water. Two rinse off. Have a question or would like to vote? Shower us with compliments. One eight zero zero eight zero two three zero seven seven four zero. www.armalive.com or see hashtag armalive. Fund. Active. Nourishment. Active. Nourishment. Conditioner. Aloe vera. Phthalates. Okay. Alcohol. For all hair types. Seven hundred. Finally found another conditioner. I'm going to put puff paint on that. I'm going to put puff paint on it because then I know what it is and what it's for. Now I'm going to fucking rubber band on it. OK. 
Okay. There we go. Right. Now I just have to check the next one. This is awesome. I can finally fucking identify my condition. It's whoa. They just have to dry for 24 hours so that you can touch them without the puff paint coming off. Mm -hmm. Coconut, jojoba, exfoliating, no. wash. No. Active, nourishment, aloe vera, active, nourishment, aloe vera, active, nourish, nourishment, tea, shampoo. Okay. That's good. Put that with the shampoo. Is this active nourishment aloe vera or not? Two. This nourishing formula infused with 100% natural. Aloe vera extract actively treats oh. and nourishes each. Strand for strong. That's Shiny okay. hair that is easy to do. Suitable for all the family and all hair okay. types. Out. Important. Got. No number. No number. No calorants, no so. <coughs> Number W R natural okay. extract bottle slow pump save water www.org.com slash savo water after shampooing one two on three leaf four ingredients water alcohol cotyl alcohol cetronilium chloride glyceryl amino dimethicone sodium citric acid potassium laureth four laureth three cotyl hydroxyethyl clue aloe barb adamson leaf juice powder have a question we'd love to hear from you oh uh, aus one eight zero zero eight zero two three hundred and seven nz farmalite.com or nourishment made by Where's my other? There's it out of the road. The road, yep. Keep this to this side because it's a moisturising cream. Put that. Is this conditioner or not? Because I'm going to put. Um... Pantene, cholera, zero T row, deep hydration, brom root to tip, our dry hair, 9083406000. Love bends in the road. Oh, Jesus. I can't use Envision anymore because my trial is gone. I have to wait Zero. for the next fortnight to get it. Paraffins. Mineral. Our dry hair. Renewal. Dry hair. Conditioner. JN3 LNVD. Conditioner. Okay. I'm going to put puff paint on that. Get rid of the fucking rubber bands. Get rid of my support workers as well. Glad I got rid of most of them because, yeah, they honestly piss me off. Okay, that's good. Doesn't need to be too nifty, it just needs to be something that works. Something that works. Okay, what else have we got in here? Because now I've got everything set up to Michelle style standards, not to people deciding what I want. Arr, arr, arr. Read now. Come on. Read it to me. Read. Recognizing channel, channel, adjustable. Oh, God. Come on. Just read it. 006. S. Coloverance. Instantly targets. Signs of damage. Full of. Ultimate and protect. Colorants, instantly target, ultimate, and protect, protect, coca, and protect, perifes, pulse, instantly targets, signs of damage, damaged hair, targets, damage, damaged hair, targets, S, damage, K, damaged, protect, mineral, targets, of, far weak, signs of C, for weak, condit, and, pro V, a protect, 900, Conditioner? Okay. 
This is because some bastards of support workers are not, well, were not helping me the way I wanted it. And they'll make claims and it's like, look, I can't see. If you know I'm blind, help me. Like, far out. Okay, I did that. I can tell when I've got paint on there because it gets all wet and I don't touch it then. I just leave it. I just leave it because it puffs up. Recognize the English up. button. Now I'm going to very carefully place each bottle separately so I'm just. Just I'm doing things the Michelle version, not the everybody else thinks Michelle version. I'm doing it my way. I'm doing it my way and that's it. Now, the puff paint will just dry. So I just have to get all the stuff off the table. At least I've found everything that I need. Thank God. <sighs> and if anybody body Dare touches anything of mine, I'm going to get very, very angry. I'm going to get so angry. Like, it's my stuff, don't touch it. Oh. Pause recognition due to an activity. Be quiet, voice over. I'm like a crocodile now. I won't tolerate anybody's bloody stupid um, attitude with me. I'm not going to deal with it. Okay. Now I'm finally ready to deal with bloody breakfast. Resume recognition. So um, I'll do this as a channel, separate channel, 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 adjustable recording. Doc, Google Map, Combat, YouTube, Boss Jock Junior, <coughs> Boss Jock Junior, Home, Artist Name, thirty-three, twenty-four, thirty-three, twenty-six. Finish okay, recording. Still working. Woo! -hoo. All right. Okay, I'm gonna make how much water's left in there? Some. Okay. Mic trigger button. Get. Oh, need to get the disinfectant. Wipe, wipe, wipey, wipe, wipes. Need to get the disinfect. Bum, 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 wipes. Because my bench is dirty. I found stuff all over the bench. Oh, why? I hate being blind. Fuck. Can't stand it. Fucking stand it. My trigger button. Hang on. I had to clean all over this bench again because I've somehow missed some of that stupid fucking stuff. Oh. Oh. Jesus. How do I do that? Oh. Now I know why other people complain so much when they don't do something properly. Oh, because you think, oh, it's done, but it isn't done. Oh. Oh. Fuck. Oh. Now 
now it's finally done. Oh my god. What's this? There's <laughs> fucking rubbish everywhere. Oh, I hate this unit. Fucking rubbish all over the joint. Oh, where is it? Oh, this is goddamn ridiculous. It's absolutely shit. Jesus. Coffee and breakfast. Oh God. I don't like support workers. I'm glad I got rid of them. Very glad. So I'll wait for the boiling to start. Ooh, my fridge still is like absolute crap. I miss the my fridge is still now I can't find my lids. My fridge stinks, my fridge stinks. Absolutely stinks. I don't like it. it, smells horrible. It smells absolutely horrible in there. Mm, the gut's nearly gone, I might have to put my cereal on the table and make my cup of coffee already. Oh god, it's nearly boiled. Okay. I'll be putting my brekkie on the table. Put my puff paper away. I'm going to put that. Where am going to put it? Can't be near food either. Um, put it down there for now. Because it's right away from actual food and right up against the frame of a little drawer but near some unopened tea bags where it won't affect anything else. It shouldn't anyway.
plenty of hot water. Boiling the jug we go, boiling the jug we go. Then I'm going to mix my coffee. Tell you what, I'm not going to trust support people in my home again. I'm not support people. Cleaners. I don't like it when people move moving things around. I don't like that at all. Stuff is that's what it is. Get rid of it. What the fuck it is? Ants or something. I don't like having a dirty bench. I don't like it when it's dirty. stupid jug a bit, a fair bit actually, and I'm waiting for this jug to boil so I can make yet another cup of coffee, and that water's going to stay at, you know, boiling point for at least 10 minutes, so uh, it'll kill all the germs, and I've noticed when I'm drinking boiled tap water, so not unfiltered, as in, if it's unfiltered, and I don't drink it straight out of the tap and I boil it first every time and add it to cooking and coffee and stuff. It never makes me sick ever. But if I try drinking it straight off the tap, it just put it in a cup and drink it, I feel sick. But if I boil it and keep it boiled all day while I'm drinking it, it just doesn't have any effect on me. It just has no effect at all absolutely no effect. I need to put a tad bit more boiled water in that. Yep. And add some fresh yummy milk and then eat me breakfast. I need to clean out my fridge today. It stinks like shit. Smells horrible. Bloody stinks. I fucking hate it when it smells. <sighs> Don't like the smell. 
smell of blood stinking fridge. I'm gonna get a fresh rubbish bag and clean everything into it. And after that, I'm gonna take the rubbish bag out of the rubbish bin and do it because I know that's the only way I'm gonna manage it today or it's gonna be going messy everywhere. Light trigger. 